is it possible? Is it at all possible that something spiritual or something can can speak with a person? Welcome to the pod. One night, I came back from an orchestra rehearsal. I sat down on my sofa. And I looked up at the chandelier that was in front of me. And it was moving. I said, okay. So this was in a show? It was in my in my uh, apartment. Oh, okay. And uh, it said, it, why, why, it's moving. It's moving. So it must be that it's windy outside and the window's open. So I turned around and I put my finger up to be able to check to see the wind coming in. And it wasn't. There was no wind. So then I turned back over at the chandelier and looked at it. And it was moving, but it was going in circles. So not fast, but it was moving in circles. Uh, I said, that's crazy. So I can't even imagine what that is. It doesn't make any sense to me. And then I noticed something in the middle of the living room. I couldn't see it. I could feel it. And I didn't know what it was. And it was something spiritual. It actually was a spirit. And it was there in the living room. I had never heard of anything like that. It was totally logical. I mean, you know, these things never happen. And then I got a message. And it was, Ariba Dick. Ariba Dick. Like a voice? A voice. It Wait, was, but it wasn't mean? a voice exactly. What does it mean, a message? It was, it came to my diaphragm. A thought, no. It was just a feeling. And I felt it go up to the back of my neck, come back up to my head, and then it became something I understood. It was a message. Did you ever hear of a word like Ariba Dick? Well, in Venezuela, there is a word that's <laughs> Ariba, and it means to go up. Now, the dick at the end of it. That's the Jewish uh, Hasidic. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got it. It was my grandmother. Wow. And, and she put together two things that I didn't even understand. It. it took me years to figure out what it was. How did you figure out it was your grandmother? Well, I didn't know yet, but I got, you get the feeling she had died a few years earlier. You get the feeling of something going on that feels like her. Mm. And I got up, and my apartment was two levels. So I went up the stairs without even understanding why I was doing that. And I got up to the top, and then I got another message, and it was, go to bed and leave the door open. Your grandmother's telling you to go to bed now. <laughs> go to bed and leave the door open. Now, I never do that because I have roommates, and I close my door. But in this case, I did just like I was asked. And I went and I laid down in bed. And the spirit came right in and stood in the middle of my bedroom. Now, I got a question. And the question was, how are you? I, I wasn't doing well. I, I had broken up from a relationship. And I wasn't doing well. I, was, I, I wasn't feeling happy. I was going through... I was going through what you go through when you leave a relationship. And at that point, I said, I'm doing fine, doing good. But I didn't believe it. I knew it wasn't really true. And so I was asked another question. Would you like me, and I already knew who it was. I couldn't make sense out of that, but it didn't matter because it was happening at the moment. Would you like me to be with you for the rest of your life? That's a big question. Some, if you get a, a spirit, is going to speak with you and it's going to say, would you like me to be with you? Okay, that's easy to answer. You know, okay, be with me. I'm going through some little troubles right now. For the rest of your life, that's a commitment. For the rest of your life, <laughs> it's a big commitment. And so I, I answered with, yes. This is your grandmother. My you know, grandmother. I know it's your grandmother. And I, I had a really, really close uh, relationship with my grandmother, and I knew exactly that, what, that's what that was at that moment. And I said, yes. 
And then she said, okay, go back over to your door, close the door, and go back to bed. So I went back over to the door, and I had my head down because I didn't want to look. I didn't feel it was right. It wasn't respectable. But I did open my eyes a little bit, and sure enough, I couldn't see any. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see any people, any images, but I could understand that there were two spirits there. One was my grandmother, and one was another one, and it was male, and it was angry. I turned around, went back to bed, I closed my door, went back to bed, and I woke up in the morning, and I went, what was that all about? <laughs> I didn't know how to explain it to anybody because I didn't even believe it. But I did speak with somebody later in the day, and they said, I said, you know, this thing happened. What is that? that is it possible? Is it all possible that something spiritual or something can, can speak with a person? And that one answered me and said, yeah, it is. This was a rabbi of some sort? No, it was just, just a person that I, sp I played in an orchestra, and it was somebody in the orchestra. And I said, okay. So at that point, I believed it. But it was like it took me a, a full day before I believed it, even though I remembered everything, and I knew it happened while I was, I was up. I wasn't sleeping. I didn't have a dream. It was I was up. I couldn't remember everything, so... It made sense. I said, all right. 